Are we feeding into these losers? Are they rubbing off on us? Are we becoming like them? You'd rather play patty cake and bullshit and complain than train and get better. I just wanna stay that, stay mad shit on my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I want you to do me a favor. We do this every time, we're gonna do it again. Write down what is the top 1% in your industry make. Write it down. By the way, anybody right now that's not writing, I would literally fire their ass. I would take their entitled asses and I would throw them through a freaking window. Now, Nick, let me ask you a question, if you don't mind. What's his name? Milo. Milo. How old are you, Milo? Come here. Milo, come here. How old are you? I'm 19. Milo, you're 19 years old. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you feel lucky and blessed to be in this room right now and have this earning opportunity with these badasses? Yes or no? Of course. Of course. No, I'm asking. It's not of course. It's not like everybody is. What about you? Do you feel blessed to be in that room with that earning opportunity and you can have the potential to change your life? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. How much money are you earning a month right now? Is it more than you ever imagined? It's more than I thought, yes sir. Okay, now do you feel blessed? Do you feel like that you're the top of your game or do you feel like you're just getting warmed up? I'm just getting warmed up, Okay, sir. okay, now how do you become the 2.0 version of yourself, right? Is, is, is Nick your leader? Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. How much do you respect Nick? A ton. Okay, do you know what Nick doesn't want to see you do? Move slow, act slow. Dude, Nick doesn't want you to act like a 19-year-old. Nick wants you to act like a 35-year-old. Even though that he knows that you're 19, he wants you to act like a 35-year-old. Nick is looking at you, and when we're having a meeting, and I'm like, hey, grab a pen, write something down, and you don't move fast, that's disrespectful to him. Now listen, you may say, oh man, come on, dude. No, dude, you come on. You're 19 years old. And by the way, Nick, are you counting on his ass to learn and get better every day, yes or no? Yes. Okay, dude, listen, and by the way, some of you guys that are younger in the rooms, you guys have no idea. We watch everything you do. We watch if you log in and train. We watch if you take notes. We watch if you nod your head, yes, in a meeting that you're going to do something and walk out and don't do it. We watch everything you do. Nick is, just like Nick, Nick is looking for his next right-hand man. Okay, he don't care how old you are. What he cares is your capability to be coached and learned. That's it. Am I right, Nick? Yes, sir. Dude, listen, I want to tell everybody as I'm sitting here with this young buck that's 19, listen, how much money is the top 1% that you can earn in your industry? What do you think it is? Millions. Okay. What are you earning a month right now? More than you ever made, what are you earning? Like 10,000. Okay. What, listen, when I was 20 years old, I was making 500 grand a year selling cars, and they said that no one can make more than 100 grand. Okay, I broke everything open as a kid. You know why? Because I worked for a manager like Nick, and Nick told me every day you train to get better. Every freaking day. Now listen, I'm going to explain something to you. Well, give me your name again one more time. Milo. Milo. You see everybody else in the company right now? I wish you could see all their faces, how I can see them. There's a lot of them that are screwing around on their phones. There's a lot of them that aren't taking notes. There's a lot of them that aren't paying attention. Okay? Do you want to be like that? Yes or no? No. Okay. Make sure you set the standard for yourself. Okay? Set the standard for your freaking self. Okay? Hey, listen. The reason why there's training is because there's a 2.0 version and a 3.0 version for every one of you. And there's no way in hell you're ever going to get it if you don't get any better. Every time you study something, every time you practice something, every time you train on something, every time you plug into any type of self-development, even the worst self-development, it is good for you. It makes you think, man, wh how, what is my edge? What is my next level? So I just want to tell you guys, man, you're 19 years old, dude. I don't know where you came from, but at 18 years old, I never had more than $20 in my hand. Someone gave me an opportunity, okay, it's disrespectful when someone gives you an opportunity for you not to give it all you got and get better every day. It's dis freaking respectful to you, to your clients, to your leaders, dude, to the whole organization. 
guys, everybody together, collectively, are we in an era right now where people don't give a shit? Yes or no? Hands yes. up if they don't give a shit. Okay. If nobody gives a shit, do we want to be one of these people that don't give a shit? I mean, dude, yep. like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, are we feeding into these losers? Are they rubbing off on us? Are we becoming like them? Are, are, are we becoming entitled people that are too good to get better, too good to train, too good to be coached, too good to take instructions? I mean, are you too good? Dude, when I look at the training every day on this platform, if it doesn't say 100%, I mean, I'm praying that someone is either sick or they sold 25 freaking ins installations that day and they couldn't get a second. Every day, the goal and the key to life and winning is being consistent. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. That's the secret. Listen, whoever on this call can be consistent every freaking day, every day, every day. Not some days, every day. Not five days a week, seven days a week. You can be consistent in three years. Two to three years, you'll be a multimillionaire. Swear to God, test me. But you won't do it because you're lazy, because you're entitled, and because you hate the truth. You'd rather play patty cake and bullshit and complain than train and get better. Man, I'm telling you right now, the only people you know and you know their names are people that execute and that are consistent. Dude, some of you will never be known. I'm, I'm just telling the truth on this call today. By the way, the truth is ugly. The truth is ugly. People don't want to tell you the truth no more. They want to make you feel good. I don't care about making you feel good. I want to give you the truth. You don't train and get better. If you don't become a better version of yourself, guess what? Every single one of you are screwed. And you're letting your families down. I mean, how many of you right now, like, want to change your bloodline? Like how many of you guys want to change your family tree? Hey, everybody, and you may think that I'm yelling at you because like, like they paid me to yell at you. No, dude, I'm telling you the truth. My family is 350 to 500 pounds. They're on their second stomach surgery. My family is trailer trash, trailer trash. Hey, and you say, I can't believe he's talking about his family. Hey. I didn't choose to be born in that family. Everybody thinks small. Everybody's a loser. No one cares. So you know what happened? 18 years old, I got a job in sales. You know what? Sales was my way out. My way out. Okay? How many of you guys look in the mirror right now and you're like, this isn't my body. This isn't the freaking body I'm supposed to have. This is a sack of shit. I'm living in an alien's body. This isn't even what I'm supposed to look like, right? That's what I said. I go, dude, this is shit. But the standards my family were setting for me were crap. My paycheck, dude, my dad worked for 30 years to make 60 grand a year. Okay, I made 150 grand at 18 years old in sales. Okay, I'm telling you right now, listen to me. I was making 800 grand by the time I was 21 years old in sales. I broke every freaking record. 2.0, 3.0, 4.0. Every freaking week, I knew there was new levels and I was chasing that level. Everybody write this down. Own your fucking life. Most of you guys are owned by the damn world. You don't own your life. You're, you're chasing shit. Own your life. Own it. Okay? What you guys do will be the life you create. Okay? Do you want to display your life to the world right now? Do you want to display your freaking year to date to the world right now? Do you want to display your savings account to the world right now? Do you want to take your shirt off to the world and go, come on, man, look how disciplined I am. Do you want to display your family and the lifestyle that you've given them? Do you want to display all the things in your life and say, look, I am an example for all of you. Not look at me, I'm great. No, I'm an example to other human beings that we can get it all. Okay, so I'm going to be a standard setter. 
You know what I'm you know what pisses me off is that some of you right now you're counting yourself out and you're lazy. You've never thought big, you've never raised your standards, and hey, if somebody on this call doesn't like me right now, if you don't like somebody that positively peer pressures you, you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot when somebody pushes you to have a better life and it pisses you off. How stupid would you be? How entitled and arrogant are you and ignorant? Now listen, I'm telling you guys this because this life that I want you to have, that I know that the company wants you to have, it's all up to you. All you got to do on this call is make an effing decision. Is this who I'm supposed to be? Or am I supposed to be someone else? Now my question is, are you in the right company? The answer is yes. You are in a level 10 earning opportunity. You, you, every one of you are in a level 10 earning opportunity. Now if you're not earning level 10 money yet, it's because you haven't become the person you need to become to earn level 10 money. Period. End of story. Cut all the excuses out. Shut your mouth. That's the rules. Now, the truth, people don't like it. You know why? It pisses them off. There was a lady the other day. She's fat. I said, listen to me. You may not think you being fat is harming anybody, and you may get mad when I say that you're fat. And some of you are like, oh, I can't believe you said she was fat. Dude, her kids now are going to be fat. When she's living and she watches her kids die of diabetes because she never supervised the food they ate and they became really fat, do you think that's a good parent? <laughs> you know what my job is? My job is to tell the truth. Okay, every one of you, you have no idea who you could become. This is a sales training call. You know what that means? Until you become who you're supposed to become, you're not going to make the money that you ever wanted to make, period. And by the way, anybody on this call that's like, hey, you know what? I don't like what he's saying, but it's the truth. I'm going to lean into this shit. Yeah, I'm all in. All right, let's go. What do I need to do? Well, number one, you need to, you need to plug into training all day long so you can keep your edge and keep self-developing because that's the secret. So it's, it's this simple. There's three things you're doing all day. Number one, you're selling something because that's what we do to get paid. If we're not selling something, we're looking for something to sell, which means we're making the phone calls or hitting more doors. Okay, so we're selling something, we're looking for something to sell or training to get better. There can be no downtime. Listen to me, do me a favor. Take the next 365 days of your life. Go through a season of saying no to every effing distraction in your life right now. Say no to it. Get your fucking ass in the gym. Eat good food. Be around positive people. Don't listen to complainers. Master your mouth. Quit saying shit that's negative. Protect your mind. Guard your mind. Get close to God. Be good to your family. Work your ass off. Give more effort. Okay? And be open-minded. I mean, shit. Some of you guys, you, you want to keep doing it the way that you're doing it? That's getting, getting you the life you're currently getting. Like, is, is right now the life you want to display to everybody? Go, man, look at what I got. Or do you, would you like to have more? Want more and everything and be more and become more. Dude, I want that. So, like, you got to make a decision, man. And guess what? No one can make this decision for you. No one. Nick, he's a great leader. It doesn't matter what he wants for everyone else on his team. What did they want? He can influence them. He can be the example. He can talk life into them. But shit, man, they can't get what they don't want. Could we collectively as a company, all of us, decide to all go to the 2.0, 3.0 versions of ourselves now? Yes. And by the way, if we get off this call and somebody's like, I don't like these calls with that guy, I would run from that son of a bitch. That is the exact cancer that will eat you alive. I do not need people like that in my life, in my business, or around me. If someone comes around me with that shit attitude, I will throw them through a window. I swear to God. Now, I will tell you this. The reason why what I say works is because it's the truth. If you guys wanted to have more money, you would have it. You don't want it yet. Now is the time to get pissed off, everybody. 
Now is the time to say, all right, all right, screw it. Next 365 days, I'm gonna go to the gym five days a week. I'm gonna beat the sun up, I'm gonna go to bed a little earlier, and I'm gonna wake up early. I'm not gonna hit the snooze button, not for a minute. I'm gonna get on the internet, I'm gonna find the hardest workout I can. I'm gonna research good food, and I'm gonna eat grilled chicken, grilled turkey, I'm gonna eat bison, filet, and I'm gonna freaking eat vegetables and rice. And that's all I'm gonna eat, other than two cheat meals a week for the next 365 days. And I'm gonna show my customers I'm disciplined, I can take care of them, look at me. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get mentally strong. And when you get physically fit, you start to get mentally stronger. When you're grinding in the gym, shit gets right here. The reason why a lot of you are soft as shit is because you don't take care of yourself. So your mind is like a mushy fucking trash can. It's just the truth. And if you're getting mad at me, you're the problem. You're the little whiner. You're, you're the one that, that companies cancel training on because you're a pussy. It's you. You're the freaking complainer. They should have fired your ass a long time ago. And by the way, leaders, you don't need people like that. There's 8 billion people. I always say this. Turkeys don't run with freaking stallions. You got some stallions in the company? Go fucking bring some turkeys in. Pretty soon the stallions will leave. And they'll go work with other stallions. You want to keep stallions in the company? You bring more stallions on. What are stallions? People who want to learn. People who want to grow. People who want to change. You know what I know? All of you right now are not where you want to be. The question is, are you willing to change? Dude, there's a rule, and it's in self-development. It says it's not who you are, it's who you're becoming that matters. If you're on this call and you're a loser, it's cool, man. The question is, do you want to stay one? I was once a loser. I hated me. I looked in the mirror, and I, I was disgusted with me. Somebody told me the truth. I made a decision, and I changed. Then I became an example for a lot of other losers to change. Okay, we all suck until we don't. Guys, everybody write down overcomer. That's what I wanna see you do. I want to see you overcome every fucking weakness in your life. I want every one of you to understand this. Most people don't expose weaknesses. They brush them under the rug and they don't wanna talk about them. I want us to expose our weaknesses, okay? And if you'll listen to me and you'll do the training, you will get it all. Listen to me, guys. They say you must sacrifice, okay, for shit. I don't sacrifice nothing that's important to me. Nothing. I'm going to get it all. I've had bad leaders before in the past that told me I got to give up. Yeah, you got to give up loser friends. You outgrow them, guys. I had to outgrow some old people that I grew up with. It was time to leave them. Guys, but you don't have to sacrifice your health. You don't have to sacrifice your family. Dude, when you go to work, be the hardest working son of a bitch there. Give everything you got while you're there. Everybody write this down. Be present. Here's the key to winning. When you're at the gym, okay, don't think about what you have to do next. Be present in the gym when you're in the gym. Soak those fucking weights up. When you're with your family, don't think about work tomorrow. Be present with your family. I know you got work tomorrow, but dude, if you're always thinking about tomorrow, one day you tomorrowed yourself out, you have no more days. That'd be, that'd be so stupid, okay? So everybody understand this. Number one, be present. So when you're at work, be at work, okay? Hey, some of you, the future looks bright, doesn't it? Tomorrow looks amazing. How about today? How about today being amazing? I want every one of you to do me one favor. Today, I want you to be aware. I want you to, I look out this window, I see mountains, I see palm trees, I see shit that if I pay attention to, I can see it. I remember when I first moved to Arizona, driving over the mountains, I was like, God, this place is beautiful. Three months later, everybody else is used to it. I've never gotten used to it. If you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. You guys, everything that's important to you, never, never race and chase through life. I know tomorrow is gonna to be a great day. I fucking know this. But today is gonna to be a great day, and today we are living in today. So we're gonna to fuck some shit up today. Today, when we get off this call, 
I'm going to close everybody. I'm going to go home tonight. I'm going to spend good time with my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my wife, my kids, my children, my friends, myself. I'm going to go to the gym tonight. I'm going to be present there. I'm going to enjoy it today. And listen to me. Anybody, anybody that doesn't want to listen to this can go and join the other 99%. This training today was only for the one percenters which are you guys. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments tell me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay, I love Max. Max is an amazing leader and all he does is talk about what he wants for all of you all the time. If you don't know his intentions and you don't know his heart, you're an idiot. All he wants is for you guys to have great families, to have great lives, and to have great earning opportunities and keep continuing to build this culture greater. Guys, is this the company that we have today? Is this the best it's gonna be? Or can we build it to be greater? We can build it to be greater. Okay, how do you build a company to be greater uh, to be greater one person at a time everybody make a commitment now all of you you're every one of you are going to be a contributor towards the company now there's no more what's in it for me there's no more what is this company going to do for me no it's it's i know it sounds cliche but it's what am i going to do for my company how am i going to talk about my company who am i going to help in my company what standards are, am I going to raise in my own life so it makes other people in my company look up to me? Who wants to be an example for other people? Raise your hand. Who wants to be an example for other people? Good. I want you guys, whoever raised your hand, to be the fucking example and never lower your standards again. Understand, every time that someone thinks that you're doing too much or you don't have to do that or why are you acting that way, screw them. They didn't raise their hand. They didn't raise their hand. They don't give a shit about no one. They are greedy, selfish people who all they want to do is make a paycheck, go home, be fucking miserable. For the rest of us, we're going to get paid all the dough. And we're going to be leaders. And we're going to be example for other people. We're going to do the training every day. We're going to physically invest in other people. We're going to be great to our clients. And we're going to raise our standards. So... As I see you guys not training, it pisses me off. It truly pisses me off and it should piss you off too. Do you think not doing the training raises the standards of the company or lowers it? Lowers it. When you don't do the training, even if you're the best, does that show a good example to someone else? No. I remember doing training that I already knew because I wanted to show the people that were coming up that the training was important. I also knew that every time that I watched training, even though I knew it, it reminded me how important training was. And I wouldn't be here where I'm at today had I not developed. I need everybody to understand this. I have one simple goal for all of you. To be the most elite son of a bitches that ever lived. Right now, these next couple years in solar, it will make you rich. Everybody get this. Please, listen to this last thing before we exit the call. Two or three years, it's all you need. Two or three fucking years of giving everything you got, shutting everybody's ass up, and working your balls off, and giving everything you got, you'll be set for fucking life. I'm just gonna ask a simple question. You gonna fucking give it now? Are you gonna fuck off a couple years and then give it later? You would be a fool not to give it now. The market is here, it's primed and ready. It will pay you whatever you want. We're in an era of the most entitled loser salespeople I've ever seen in my life. Would now be the time to kick their ass? Hell yeah. You wanna bankrupt some companies? Now's the time to do it. I want you guys to all pour gasoline down your throat. Wake your asses up and go to war. Your two or three years, no matter how old you are, 
your two or three years, start today. And then in two or three years from now, when you're a multimillionaire, go do whatever the hell you want. I want you to, I want you to work so hard and be so great, not to show people that you're a badass, to inspire other people. That's what I want you to do. I want you to be a real leader. Now, you're all qualified, okay? So we get off this call. If you have a, a vision or an idea of what you want in life, but you don't execute, no one will ever know your name. You're a fraud. And I don't think we have any frauds on this call. And I think we've all decided if anybody, we get off this call, talk shit, what we're gonna do with them. Throw their ass through a fucking window. Okay? So I love you guys. We're gonna end this call. You guys are gonna do the training like hell. And then when I see you guys in a couple weeks, I'm going to call off everyone who's not doing the training. So I can make sure that your name gets heard. Okay, that you are a person that made excuses because you didn't do it. I love you guys. You guys got a battle plan. You know what to do. 2.0 versions of yourself, 3.0 versions start today. Let's go guys, kick some ass, love you. See you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.